It is now time for the second half of our double main event. This heavyweight contest will be best of five pulls. Introducing first, he is an inside puller who has won two WAL middleweight hammers. Standing at five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 245 pounds tonight. He steps up in weight class, putting his amazing 35 and three record to the test. He is an international star from Lowell, Ohio. He is Todd Silla. Todd He is a six foot five nightmare, weighing in tonight at 266 pounds. With a 32 and four record, he is one of the most decorated arm wrestlers on the planet. From 2014 to 2017, he raised the heavyweight hammer high. From Ottawa, Canada, he begins his quest for the hammer in 2019 tonight here in Pittsburgh. He is Devin No Limits Robin. No Limits. Oh, ready. Yeah! Here we go. No Limits, ready against Todd Zilla. Says, I have a lot of respect for him, Devin Lara, talking about Todd Hutchings. He's dangerous, he's very strong, he's unrelenting. And he's also willing to die out there if he has to. It, Todd's just got that type of mentality that it doesn't matter where the match goes. It doesn't matter the angle. He is just going to grunt and drive to the side. Hey, and you're going to have to do a lot to stop him. Saw the five grand on the table for the WAL money girl as these two get down to business. Square up. Follow the commands of the referee. Devin, I need you to have starting the mind ball, games early. Equal webbing for a start. Staring down Todd. Look at the intensity in Devin's eyes. The trouble's down. Big height difference. Hutchings five height difference. Five eleven against six five. De come down Devin's here. got the type he of leverage. He could tie his shoes come standing down. straight up. He, that's how long his arms are. Todd, a much shorter man. Six six. And Devin's You're looking to exploit one. that. Come down. And take his hand and come take his down. arm away from him. Let's go this way. Come back. Come down. If you don't follow the command of the ref, it is a foul. Devin told us if I can bend his wrist Devin back, puts me in the driver's seat, right but he's still really good Strap. without his wrist. This is, yeah, it's building. It's, it's a pressure cooker right now. Strap. So listen, this is just a reminder, a refresher of our rules. When I give a command and I ask you to do it, and then I have to say it again because you come back, whoever does, that's a foul. Follow the commands of the ref. Oops, sorry. Bart Wood asserting okay. his territory here with Larrett and Hutchings, who should down, certainly down, know the down, rules down, by down, now. Down. Yeah, they, they, they know the rules, and uh, they like to exploit the rules, especially Devin. But hey, if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. Nine WAL titles in his career, both left and right-handed. They've never pulled right-handed before. Fine. Devin said he thinks they did once left-handed a while back. Yeah, and that makes this match dangerous because they haven't felt each other's power and they really don't know the real full force that's about to be put onto their arms. And I can't wait to see it. Bring this floor to match it. Gotta go Todd's way. Right there, close your thumbs. Here we go. Close your hands. Go! Oh! Top goes sideways! He might have it! No call! No call! It's a millimeter! It's a millimeter for the pair! Devin's holding some of that! Unbelievable! Devin turns it! Are you kidding me? Devin with the king's move! This is absurd! Watch your height. This is an absurd position! Todd Zilla will not break, neither will Larry. This is dangerous for Todd. Devin stretching him out. Oh, now Devin's getting behind his arm. 
Elbow on Todd. Keep running. Keep Elbow going. Elbow on Todd. Running foul. Todd knows it. Where? You Devin play. wins. Larratt takes round one. Wow. What an intense win. Yeah. That got my blood pressure boiling. Very, very, very <laughs> Look at the look on Devin Larratt's face. Wow. Are you fucking How did he man? keep that alive? Hey, your boy quit. Your boy quit round one, Bob. He quit round one. My game's from Devin. Yep. He's in Todd's corner telling him that he quit. Now the Hutchings corner thought that that was a pin. That was, uh, I want to see the replay. I want to see this replay. Because Todd's initial surge might have been a pin, but it was so close. Let's take a look right here. Now this is the end of the match when Devin took control and Todd knew, he knew it was over then. Yep. But that initial surge off the start was what I, what I meant by that was possibly a pin. Very, very close. It's funny, Hutchings' power was so documented. Talked to Devin Larry and said a lot of folks saying, look, you gotta try to get him quick. And Devin, you know he loves the battle. Look at the start here. Todd surges, surges, oh, it's so close. Did it break the plane there, Jason? Oh, it's, it's maybe half an inch. It, it may be a, a centimeter or two there. Oh, that's close. No complaint from Hutchings. He didn't come back and sit there and say I had him. He kept battling there, and then Larratt able to counter and down, come Devin, back. Down. This is far from down. over. Open and this is far from over. Come down. Round one of the best down. of five come, to Devin Larratt. Come Devin's way. Take this up. Down. Close your thumbs. Come on, Jack. He's climbing. Square up. Close your hands. One foul right here, Devin, curling in. Go this Devin. Yeah. He's on. Get ready. He might be coming in. Okay, square up. Hold the Paul Webby equal and it will start. Back to the strap. Yeah, you got to spin there. Yep. You got to spin there. 30 yeah. seconds. They couldn't get the grip. And the crowd is really into this one. A lot of, a lot of energy coming from the crowd for both guys. Bob Brown, where are you at? Bob Brown. Get his elbow down, yeah, man. Get his elbow down. Strap uh, advantage to either of these guys, guys Max. Get his elbow Usually down. I'd say yeah, but which guy in this case? Hard to say. Both of their power comes okay, from the strap. Up. Devin more technical in it. Todd just able to really put the horsepower down using it. We mentioned Hutchinson. He added Stay weight up right to here. 245, maybe 30, 40 pounds. Come this way a little bit. So Close your hands. That power pays off Go. right here. Yeah. Devin, the hero. Devin thinks he's got it. Devin sets him in a deep hook. Look at that. Devin's really testing him now. He's Hutchings looking for every ounce of leverage. The, the, the Hutchings is all in, committed to the side. Devin, all the pressure is up and back into Todd's hand. And now Devin thinks he's in full control. Look at that. Look at the look from Larry. He thinks he's got him. Wow. Devin, no limits. Larry. With this leverage in this position, you would easily finish your opponent, not Todd Hutchins. Yes. Yes. Smokes him at the finish. Wow. You saw the transition. Gaining the leverage, gaining the hand control, getting behind his arm and finishing with a tricep. I run out of table. No limits I run out of table. Win. Wow. <laughs> Another war. It was. And he bled Todd in that round. Todd's arm is burning now. That was a tough round. <laughs> Two of the best endurance pullers ever, and you're seeing it in each and every round. Look at the replay here. Todd's way out of position, loses his hand and wrist. 
And Devin just takes full advantage of that. Climbing higher, gaining more leverage, using his height. Look at that. That's just tremendous leverage, and he's able to back it up with his tricep and press for the win. Look at the close-up here. Yeah, using his shoulder and his tricep, and using his body weight to press down on Todd's arm. Babies, we love you. Milo and Hayri, you go ahead to the reason we do all this. We love you, babies. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about their kids back home in Canada. Like Jody. Also a puller, also yeah. competes. Absolutely. Arm wrestling family. I think the kids actually compete as well, so you're really talking a, a bloodline there. And no limits to what that family can do. Right now, Devin Larratt in control here. Taking the first two, one away from sweeping top. And, De and Devin is looking impressive. She said hit. She wants to see Devin hit. All right, he's in control. What's Todd Zilla need to do here to stay alive Todd. and rattle off a couple of wins in a row? This is tough for Todd. He's, he's in deep water here. And uh, his arm's burning. I know his arm's filling with blood from those two tough rounds. He's in deep water, and Devin's looking to sink him. Again, ridiculously strong freak of nature. One of the top oh, middleweights of all time. Here, up a ton oh, of weight against No Limits Larry. No one can touch challenge Todd in middleweight, so he's going for the big bet. Yeah! And it's yeah! over at the win. Gives the money to the wife. Yeah. <laughs> Party tonight, buddy. <laughs> Jody's got the cash, and Devin's got the win. And again, Hutchings knew it. Quick round three there, but Todd's arm was burnt. Look at that. Todd's arm just two rounds of brutal abuse by Devin, and uh, Devin just took control and ended him. Look at that reaction from Devin. He's hyped. He's I so love strong. it. He's so strong. Well, Todd Hutchings up at a bigger weight he's ever been before, but No Limits gets the win. Todd standing by with Jason Fisher. Todd, you're a middleweight champion. This is your first match here as a heavyweight. What is it like pulling in this new weight class against guys like Devin Larry? Oh, it sucks. I, I, I recommend winning all the time. The, the other side just sucks. <laughs> you know? Well, you definitely pulled hard. You, you definitely tested Devin Larratt for sure. You have a tough match coming up next month in Baltimore against Matt Mask. How do you take what you learned here tonight and apply it and prepare for your next match? Oh, I'm going to get taller. <laughs> I'm going to be 6'2 next time, and then it'll be different. So. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> I, just well, run, I just run out of table. So, Hey, no one is stronger than this man right here. Everyone, let's give it up one time for Todd Zilla, Todd Hutchins. We'll see you next month. Thank you. And let's give it up one time for Devin Larratt. Devin, first, tell me a little bit about what it's like to face someone like Todd Hutchins. Todd Hutchins is so good that they kicked him out of the category, okay? Yeah. Todd Hutchins is the very best middleweight we got, okay? He's overachieving in the super heavyweight category, but I do have bad news for you. My little brother's gonna do the same thing, only worse to you in a month. But, and, and, that, and that's true, that's true. But I just hope that he does get a shot to reclaim what might be his and RVJ in the finals. That's what I'd love to see. Oh, okay, okay. Well, speaking to someone who wants to reclaim what might be theirs, this is the first time we saw you on a WAL stage since losing to Monster Michael Todd. How big is this match and this win in your quest to reclaim the hammer? It's, it's big for me. I'm happy that I get to do the icebreaker for the season. I feel like that sets me up. You know, these guys got matches coming up. That whole while I'm gonna be training, so I'm gonna be better prepared than they are. So try and get through the next round safe because I'm gonna be fresh when I see you. Yeah! Okay, well you heard it. 
Devin Larratt, he is training. He is getting stronger. That is a scary thought. This is going to be a great season. This was a great night. Congrats, Devin.